What is it that you are looking for in your priest or deacon? What is it that you're looking for in your bishop? What kind of persons should they be? What should be their most important qualities or gifts? Many people today want their pastor to be good fundraisers and money managers so that they don't have to hear homilies or talks about giving more money to the church. Many want their pastor to be a good administrator who can supervise all the many diverse ministries that go on in today's parishes, from making sure that there is heat or air conditioning and a clean church or hall, to preparing people for marriage, from preparing children for First Holy Communion and Confirmation, to preparing people for death. And many people in our entertainment-driven culture want their priests to be entertaining at Mass, to hold their interest with clever homilies. Some people want the bishop of their diocese to speak out on the issues of the day, and others don't want them to say anything that could be taken as too political. Different people have different desires for the clergy in their lives, but what is most important? What is the most important thing for which we can pray as we lift all those who are ordained up to God in prayer? This month, the church is praying that bishops, priests, and deacons may be tireless messengers of the gospel to the ends of the earth. Our prayers help them persevere, help them to have the energy needed to be tireless in their preaching. But they cannot be messengers without a message. And the message they bring to the world is not themselves, it's Jesus Christ. As Pope Benedict said at the beginning of his first encyclical, Deus Caritas Est, God is Love, and as he repeated in his message for Lent 2013, being a Christian is not the result of an ethical choice or a lofty idea, but the encounter with a person which gives life a new horizon and a decisive direction. Or, as he told the Congregation for the Clergy during one of their assemblies in 2009, every priest must be well aware that he is bringing to the world another, God himself. God is the only treasure which ultimately people desire to find in a priest. How can priests, bishops, and deacons make sure that they are not, as it were, full of themselves, but filled with Christ, whom they bring to the people they serve? One word, prayer. Their ministry, as Pope Benedict said in that same address, derives, quote, essentially from that divine intimacy in which the priest is called to be expert so that he may be able to lead the souls entrusted to him humbly and trustingly to the same encounter with the Lord, end quote. On another occasion, when he spoke with clergy in Poland in 2006, Pope Benedict said, At the moment of your ordination, Christ took you under his special protection. You are concealed under his hands and in his heart. Immerse yourselves in his love and give him your love. The faithful expect only one thing from priests, that they be specialists in promoting the encounter between humanity and God. The priest is not asked to be an expert in economics, construction, or politics. He is expected to be an expert in the spiritual life." End quote. And so, let us pray together this month for the clergy of our world, that they may be so close to Jesus that they bring him to everyone they meet and to the ends of the earth. Amen.